there's two very important parts of the freestyle. The whiskey locator is to position the cow so when she goes in there, position her to the point that she lays back. The other important part of the, of the freestyle is the neck rail. The neck rail's purpose is to, when the cow stands up, to tuck her shoulders so she backs up a couple inches to defecate in the alley. And that's particular dairy is that they use the neck rail and pull it all the way back to help keep the cows from getting too far forward. They did not have a brisket locator. So what happens by having the neck rail too far back and too low, the cows do not want to get in there. It hurts them to get into the stall, so they stand with two feet in the alley and two feet on the platform. This two feet in the alley is called perching. Another very important part of, of the stall is the width, length, and the height. What I measure is what the cow feels. Cows know geometry. Cows position themselves to get every valuable inch of the stall. If the stall is correctly designed and the correctly the measurements so they have plenty of room and bike width and everything, the manure should be in the alley directly behind the cow, never off to the side. More milk is made, more blood is pumped through the udder when the cow is laying down versus standing up. So when we talk about cow comfort, it's very important when you're designing the stalls, design them for the 2020. I'm going to dairies where I see the stalls are being built for the 2002 when Neil Addison talked about 17 foot stalls per curve, 10 foot sidewalls, 50 inches wide of the cow, 50 inches neck rails. What do I see when I get to these dairies? They're being built back earlier. We have a lot bigger cows today than we did back 20 years ago. Take care of the cows and they'll take care of you.